So I'm at Pro Gym Bodmin um, and I'm going to train chess today. We are going into week four of prep. Updates and stuff on my Patreon account if you want to know changes that I'm making to my diet, my training, expenditure, things like that. But we're going to go through chess today. So we're going to run through everything, go through step by step what I'm doing. The program that I'm following is obviously given to me by my coach. So yeah, we'll dive in now and uh, go through some chess. So first exercise up is meant to be Smith Incline, which is over there. Um, but I've swapped it out and changed it for this um, Watson press. So you can adjust, obviously, the angle on this. You can have a flat incline, uh, like small incline, large incline, 15%, 15%, 15 degrees, 45 degrees, so forth. The reason I swapped it out is because I train on my own, even though the Smith's obviously got like a spotting mechanism where you can put in safety bars and stuff. Um, I just wasn't progressing on that lift. Um, whereas this, I can actually find I can push a lot more on it um, and I feel it a lot better um, connection in my chest. So we're going to go for this one from now on. Okay. So I only did about eight there. And again, I'm not rushing them really quickly. I'm literally doing the same tempo. I'm going to try and do all my working sets. Um, and just like I said, really making sure that the muscles are primed same tempo and um, time under tension in that just so I can make sure that nothing's going to go wrong in the next set so um, that was reasonably light we'll go on look on here Ducks feels lighter. I did that weight last week and I struggled, so I'm gonna go up. That's five, so I'm gonna go on to seven for the next one. Keep me all bones safe. So they basically like, yeah, so it's, it keeps everything compressed um, and it keeps the joints safe. It helps like keep them warm, gets blood flow. So they're just like an extra like safety mesh basically. Done on that three sets, relatively like hard sets on there. Um, I've not gone up on that this week, only because I've gone up on this. That's that plane. Um, then we're going to do incline dumbbell press, um, and then we'll probably do maybe one more um, and some arm work as well, just a little bit. So I'm not really last. <laughs> I'm not really last train my arms at the minute because um, they're too, they're not too big, but they're big enough. Um, and then you've got to be quite strategical when what you're trying to do in terms of like your shape and your criteria. So if you're growing your shoulders and then you push your arms, which are quite overpowering anyway, it will overpower the, the shoulder and you've got to constantly catch up, catch up, catch up. So it's all about shape, um, making sure that everything flows nicely. So yeah, we're gonna just take it easy on those a little bit. Um, I'm not actually allowed to train them, but I like training arms a little bit. So I'm just doing incline. Um, last week, like I said, I was ill. I've been getting ill a lot recently, but I'm feeling good now. Um, otherwise, I wouldn't be in here. So, obviously, we're doing that, that I'm gonna be a little bit fatigued, but I'm actually feeling pretty good. Last week, I did the 30s, and I failed on them. I couldn't get them up. So, I'm gonna try and get them up again. I mean, 
this is weak for me, like this is really weak for me. Um, I'm normally up here on like 37.40s, um, but I'm not anymore, so that's in the past. Um, so I'm literally working to my capacity at this time, and I'm working to my intensity, like I'm not trying to push X amount of weight because someone else is doing it, I'm literally doing what I can do at this this point and work until failure. Um, and like I said, just inducing that intensity that I can do at this moment in time. Um, I'm not chasing numbers for the sake of it. I'm literally doing this workout of a purpose and an intention um, of holding on to the tissue and hopefully building a little bit as well into prep. So yeah, let's get going, see if I can get these up. Six, I actually got them up. A little bit wobbly. Um, and like this is how I train, I train on my own all the time. So I don't have a spotter. So that initial press, the first one up, um, is great if you've got someone there just to throw it up. Because that taxes you a lot, throwing that first one up. That probably took a couple of reps out of me. So I'm happy, that's, it's gone up. I couldn't get it up last week. <laughs> oh, fuck. Nearly. Okay, lice from the next one. Because my first rep range was like eight to 10, this one's 10 to 12, so I'm probably gonna come back down to here on those um, in a second, but I'll rest first. Ooh, that's better than last week. <laughs> really does hurt. And um, we'll do, yeah. I mean, this actually looks a lot. It probably is. Um, but with like push down motion, obviously you can do a lot more. Um, when you're doing the typical like rope extension, I find with that I go a little bit lighter. Otherwise, I can't get the squeeze at the end. And then you see people just literally coming up here, raising up, as opposed to isolating the tricep. Well, this part here. Um, so yeah, I go a bit heavier on knees and I tend to do, I don't know, depends on what I'm feeling like. This, the heavier I go, obviously the lower the reps, but I still keep my rep range quite high, I'd say, between 12 and 15. Um, Cause that's what builds arm well, builds arms well for me. Um, I don't really get much out of heavy, heavy loads and doing one rep max bicep curls and stuff like that. <laughs> Cause it's pointless. Yeah. <sighs> 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 so painful. I don't know why it's so painful today. 
So that's like my, I like doing that variation. Like you've seen people doing, you know, your general triceps, that needs to be a little bit higher. So don't hit the stack, but um, tricep extension, rope extension, that. Um, I like doing different variations. So that one I actually really like. Hits really well for me. Um, I don't typically like that one. I find it hits more on my shoulders. It makes me scrunch over, I don't really like it. So overhead there, or I'll do the pulley right the way onto the bottom. And then do overhead like this. You get more range of motion there, it's better. But I mean, with arm stuff, I kind of just do whatever, whatever I'm feeling, they grow, so. That's what I'm doing today. So that's training session done. I always run through my posing at the end, as you've seen on previous uh, videos I've put on YouTube, Instagram or not. So as I'm women's physique now, I do quarter turn work, mandatory, and then I'll do that like two or three times um, as usual. And then I'll have a little bit of a play with stuff as well to make sure certain poses suit me. Um, as I'm working through prep as well, you start to see more stuff coming out. So that's when you can make alterations and tweaks to your posing to make sure that it does suit your structure, your flow. Um, yeah, and just make sure it looks good. So um, quarter turns, we'll start with those. So. And it's really important, even though there's mirrors dotted around everywhere here, to do this without a mirror. Because if you get used to doing it with a mirror, and then you're on stage, we don't have mirrors, we have a bit of trouble because you need to know how it feels to get into each pose. That's all done and dusted. I'm gonna go home, eat. Um, I actually need to do some food shopping as well and top up on like greens and stuff like that. I don't really buy them in bulk because they just go off and they lose with their nutritional value as well. Um, yeah, so home, eat, and then tomorrow is glutes and hams. And that's the session that did me in last week. That's the one that literally uh, polished me off. I did Bulgarian split spots and it literally just sent me into like, yeah, and then I was ill. So yeah, that's tomorrow, and then yeah, I think that's it. I don't really have much else to say to be honest. <laughs> um, thanks for watching, and um, yeah, see you again soon. <laughs>